Hello everyone, hope you all are doing great. Today I'll be just unboxing some products I got from RAR DSM. These are liner gel polishes I got from them. Here, let me just unbox them for you. Here, I can see the product. Here is the instruction card. It just comes with the polishes and here, RAR DSM nail art gel instructions and here we just got the colors these are just like the neon shades here is the pink and here is the orange shade these are amazing the packing is good let's just open and see the consistency here you can see it is just amazing okay the next color let's just go to the next color now mm. <coughs> here we can just see a purple shade it is so good in consistency as you can see the pigment is good it was my first time working for this brand and i am not regretting it and here is the yellow shade the neon you can say these are just amazing to use for summer the lighter shades the consistency is amazing the next shade is green okay i was just missing these from my collection and now i have them all here all together you know the green one is amazing as well and the next color is blue okay let's just open it as well and here you can see it is so amazing the lighter blue i love this this is the perfect you know the box or the set for the summer Let's just get started now here. I am using the orange gel. 77 shade code is here. I'll be just using it for the nail design. I'll be just adding the line in the middle of the nail with the help of this orange shade. You can see the pigment. It is amazing. I, I'll be just making a wider line in the middle of the nail. I haven't used any base color because the nail is already white. Here is the second color, 75. The code is 75 here. The line on the side of the orange color, I'll be just making, I don't know what, but I'll just use the all colors. Here is the next color, 78. Pinkish shade and the other line here with the orange color. You know, the pigment is amazing. I don't have to double coat them. Here we are almost done with the pink line. I'll be just adding the other line with it. Here is the 76 shade. Let's just use it. And here I am just adding the line beside the blue here. I just rotated. Here we go with the purple shade. It's the purple or pinkish shade I can guess. I'm not getting it right. But it just gave the both. Here is the green color. Let's just add it on the space left. Here we go. The perfect summer nail is going to be amazing, I can say. The shades are so good on its own. And here I am taking the yellow. I'll be just adding them in between every shade I added. The thinner lines. Just make sure to remove the excessive gel from the liner brush to add the thin lines. And here we go. The one stroke is here. I'll be just adding the French here with the help of liner gel also. And yes, it was bumpy and it was difficult to make the French over these lines. And I will be just adding another coat after curing this for 30 seconds. And it is necessary because we can see the shades underneath the white color. And here is the second coat. To just hide the bumps and the shades here I am just completely covering up the French area of my nail and we are almost done with it I'll be just curing it after I am done and here is the painting gel again the glitter one I'll be just adding the outline with it over my French adding an outline with the glitter over my French and it is looking pretty as well you cannot say that it not look good and here the other side as well let's just cure it and here is the matte top coat over the nail okay be careful with the matte it matches the color <laughs> let's just cure it 
Now I'm adding the black petals for the flower using the pad paint gel. You can use any black gel if you want to. And I wanted to add the white flowers but I don't know why I did not. And I just go with the black one. Okay, let's just make the flower. Here is the other petal and the last one okay let's take a liner painting gel and here is the line pattern i don't know what to call this but i love doing this pattern here almost done and here we go with the acrylic powder pouring over the flowers completely covering and then cure it for 30 seconds after the acrylic powder, cure it for 30 seconds and then brush off the excessive. I'll be just adding the dots with the white pad paint gel inside the flowers and here. I'll be just pouring the acrylic powder to just remove the shiny look from the dots and here. I'll be just curing it as well then I'll be brushing off the excessive and here is the final look. I hope you like the design. Using CND shellac as a base, here the first coat, I'll be curing it for 30 seconds and I'll be adding the second coat because it is too light. Here is the second coat I'm adding over the nail to just cover up whole nail. Here I am adding the matte top coat over it and I'll be curing it for 30 seconds. Yes, I'll be curing it for 30 seconds. Here is the green color I used before, adding the line in between. I don't know why I was just obsessed with the design. It just came into my mind and I just thought of giving it a try here. Covering up the line and I'll be just curing it for 30 seconds. Please cure the line for one minute. Here, you can see the wrinkle. I'll be just giving it the upside down French kind of look here with the liner painting gel that was yellow here i am just covering up and filling up the space because there was the green color under it and it was just difficult to just cover up completely that's why i was just taking time to cover up completely i will be just curing it after i am done one more coat to make it matte the second coat of the matte you can just add it before if you want to I'm taking two colors, the double shaded flowers I did in my previous video. This time I'm using the pad paint gel of white color and the pink color is a gel polish, regular gel polish for the petals. Double shaded petals look amazing. I was just trying to make it look like the summer nail. That's why I just used the colors that are lighter and looks like to be good in summer. Here I am just almost done with the double shaded pattern. I'm taking the liner brush and pat paint gel and making the pattern to cover up the green line only, leaving the rest of the nail on the side uncovered. Here is the pattern. Please let me know if you want the details on this design. I'll be just uploading a single video for you know the complete video will be for the pattern dedicated to this pattern if you want to just learn it in details let me know in the comment section i'll be just doing pouring the acrylic powder to make it look matte i don't like it to be i don't like it to be shiny that's why i'm covering it with the acrylic powder here i'll cure it and the final look is here i hope you like it as well going toward the next design Adding the lines on the silicone mat of the same colors I got from the brand. Here I am adding one by one near to each other and adding adding the simple base coat on the nail. Now I'll be just picking up the colors and pouring it over the nail here and like this. Don't smudge it over each other. Just do the steps like I am doing. Nothing difficult. Just make sure to add the tacky layer before you just do the marble. It can be a top coat, it can be a base coat. Here I am adding a top coat, normal top coat over, no white top coat. And here I'll be just adding the same pink color, the pattern I love. I don't know what to call it, but this is love. Here I am almost done with the pattern. Let's just 
completed I'll, I just decided to make it over the sides only and here I am doing it on the sides let's just end it up adding them till I just feel that it is completed and here, here we go with the final look of the nail I hope you like this marble nail with the smooth colors Don't miss my next video. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.